Hey guys, long time no see. I know it's been a good month for like two since I last uploaded something. I've been to three shows of Tour 1 from Paramore and before and after that I was quite busy studying for my exams in university and now that I finally got time I want to show you today what merch I got and I got most of the merch they had. Not everything because I didn't like everything but I just wanted to show you what the merch I got looks like and maybe you're interested in that so keep watching. Let's start with the tour shirt because that's basically what I always get. The tour shirt has to be very ugly with the tour dates on it for me to not actually buy it because I really like to have a shirt where you can point out like I've been there and maybe there and there probably is not gonna end up in the online shop for everyone to have and it's just really this thing you had to be on this tour to get it so it's a thing I usually get and really like and this is what it looked like in my opinion white shirts fit the after laughter white more than black shirts even though I prefer black shirts I bought a couple of white ones Although, and I'm wearing a white shirt right now, so this is really weird that I'm saying it. I don't really like wearing white shirts a lot, but I really think this is cute. I really like the gradient on this. In the top, it's pink, and then it turns more and more to a purplish color, and I really like that. And I also really, really like um, <clears throat> the picture of them. I really love Haley's blonde hair. I really had to get used to it, but I really like it now, and I like the, the graphic kind of graphic elements in the back and I really think it's a unique shirt and I already wore it a couple of times so yeah I really like it let's continue with another shirt I got another white shirt wow uh, with red elements it's a hard time shirt the shirt has no back printing or anything but I really like the red color and the red sleeve. I'm really a fan of it though the shirts really are bigger than I expected them to be because I'm usually getting a medium because sometimes mediums are really small and they're like really tight fit for me and sometimes mediums are like two, two sizes too big and I, I don't know but I usually medium is a safe, safe bet for me though I wish now the shirt would be a bit smaller. So if you're gonna attend uh, shows of two or two you know now that the shirts are on the bigger side. When Paramore announced that Zack is back in the band, they posted a link to the online shop with a shirt, which is the Zack is back shirt. But they also sold it at 2 one so I thought I would just buy it because I thought it was cute and I didn't buy it when they put it on the online shop. But I'm also kind of sad they sold it at the show because I thought if they only had like a couple, like a limited amount of items or if they only had it in the online shop it would be kind of more special for the people who got it but since they had it at the show I still wanted to buy it especially because I wanted to have one black shirt from the show so this is it the next thing I'm gonna show you is my favorite item of the whole 2-1 merch and I'm really surprised because I usually don't like that type of merch you're gonna see right now but I'm I love it so much Ta-da! <laughs> it's a cap and I kind of like that it's more of a dad head than like the usual caps and I'm not a cap person but I really think that the pinkish color is cute and for festivals, you should ha always have one, so I bought it and now I really fall fell in love with it and yeah, I really like it. I don't know how often I'm gonna wear it since I'm not a cap person, but it's so cute, look at that. If there's gonna be that cap at Tour 2, I would really recommend you getting this. It's really, really cute and you can adjust this in the back really easily. Pull it out and adjust it and that's really nice i really enjoyed the cap it was kind of expensive though but totally worth it so i'm just gonna wear it for the rest of the video because i love this cap although we're already through with the shirts i got one more clothing item and who would have thought what it is because it's a hoodie and i really love band hoodies i get like way too many. My mom always says I get like 20. She doesn't know which one is which because they all look the same to her, which is really sad for me, but um, 
yeah. It has the new Paramore symbol and all around it there's basically like here's after laughter Paramore written and around it here's the song titles of the album. The Paramore font, new Paramore logo font thingy. And that's it. It's really simple, but <laughs> I really liked it. And fun fact, a friend of mine actually bought one and got two, which was really nice. I was kind of jealous. I did get this one and I had to pay for it normally, but yeah, that was fun. <laughs> We're almost done. We got two more things I want to show you. And they're both for the walls. The first is a flag. Well, who would have guessed if there's a flag that I would buy the flag? <laughs> Do I have space for this? No. Did I have to get it anyways? Yes. Probably gonna put it up here. I'm not in here a lot if I'm not filming, but and this will give it a more bandy wipe. So I really thought I would have to do this. Now I'm gonna show you what it looks like, but it's so big. You're not even seeing the whole thing. <laughs> Wait a minute and I'm gonna show you from the back. So this is one of those very lightweight materials. It's just with the Paramore font. Paramore written all over it with the symbol in the back. It's simple, but I really like it. It has two holes on the side. And that's basically it. I actually do not have a lot of posters hanging up on my walls because I usually prefer flags. But I got this real special poster I need to show you guys because it's so pretty. I just had to buy it because it's so pretty. Look at that. It's so colorful and so cute and really unique. So I really had to buy it. I just thought it was really, really cute and I really, really like it. And look at that. I love them all so much. I was really scared that it's not gonna get home safe because I had to travel a lot to get back home. The last show I was at was Hamburg and from that I had like a 14 hour bus ride and then again another three hours of a train ride. It took me a long time to get home, let's say it like that, but totally worth it. The material is really harder, a bit of a harder poster and well, it got home safe and I'm really glad I did get it. So that was the whole haul thingy already. That was all the merch I got. Were you at 201? Did you get anything? What was your favorite merch from 201? Maybe also from my video. Thank you very much for watching it till the very end. I'm gonna upload another video about 201 very soon, so stay tuned. And thank you very much. Bye!